it's Sunday, May 14th, 2023. Time for another fireside chat with Dizzy, and I don't know where the little fuzzy puppy dog is. And, oh, I just heard her coming, so she might show up. Oh, there she is. Hey, Fuzzy. You gonna come over and say hi? There's the puppy nose. The fire's a little smoky today. I was doing some stuff and wasn't keeping a good eye on it and it burned down a bit. But it's catching again. What I have that I'm burning tonight is I had an old pallet that I just cut up and uh, that's what I'm using for the fire. I still had the rest of it over there. So let me see. This week, past week, I was able to get the whole garden weeded fairly quickly. And once I had the garden all weeded, then I started on the uh, quote-unquote orchard. Uh, got almost, but not quite a quarter of that done. Uh, I would have probably gotten more done, but it's kind of hot this week and made it kind of hard to get stuff done. Oh, there's the puppy. But I did get started on that. I also worked on weeding the front flower garden. I have about two-thirds of that weeded. I'm hoping... No, that's not for you. She's not for my chocolate bars. I'm hoping that I can finish that tomorrow. If not tomorrow, then Tuesday. That's about the only work that I did in the yard yes, this week. So I probably won't be shooting to uh, tame the jungle of my yard. House. Uh, really haven't gotten a whole lot done other than laundry this week and dishes. And, uh, so I won't be shooting that video. Oh, I did, and then I shot a couple videos that I haven't posted yet. Uh, got some more stuff planted that I'll be talking about. Let's see, out at the farm. Well, went to mow on Friday, and the mower wouldn't start again. So I caught up to have, have somebody come. They're coming on Thursday to pick it up. And uh, I was going to go and grab the mower from the field next to me because I do have her permission to use hers if mine's not working. I don't really like using hers. But if it's an emergency, yeah, I will. And I was just going to drag the manure spreader out right into the field and fill that and then go and grab her mower. And I tried one last time to start my mower, and what do you know? It started up. And if I can get it started, it will start every time that day. Oh, now I need the left-handed smoke shifter. Smoke's blowing right at me. So, I was able to get the field done. Since they're picking it up on Thursday, they haven't given me a time yet. They did say in the afternoon. I am planning to come out. And I'll just have to do the field a day early. Which it won't kill them for once. And that'll have the field mowed. I'm also thinking of trying to mow the farm lane. Because that really needs to be done. I have told the owner that if she gets the bush hog on the mower. That I do some mowing with that. And that still needs to be done. So I'm just going to. That lane really needs to get done. So I'm going to do that with my mower. I'm also going to bring the truck one day and I am going to stand in the bed of it because it's the only way I can do this easily. A maple tree that's at the end of the lane really needs to be trimmed before have people coming down here. Thursday for the first time this year I went out in my canoe and there is a lake around here State Park, Parvin State Park. It's one of my favorite places to canoe. Only problem is, from Memorial Day through Labor Day, they charge you to put a boat in at the boat ramp. Doesn't matter if it's a canoe or a kayak. Last time I checked, it was like $12. It's like, there's no way I'm going to spend $12 just to put my ca canoe in the lake. So, we went out in the lake. There is a little town called Centerton near Parvin State Park. It has been my dream for years to be able to paddle all the way upstream to Centerton. Well, it was the farthest we ever got. And it 
got to a point where it was not easy going. Uh, there was one point where it was so low, I actually jumped out of the canoe and pulled my canoe and my friend's kayak past that point because we couldn't paddle. It was, the water was just too shallow. There were places where the current was so hard to paddle against and it was pushing the canoe more than my friend and her kayak. Uh, got tangled up on the same tr tree going up and down. And we finally got to a point where there was trees over the stream that we could not paddle around and I just was not up to jumping out of the canoe again and seeing if I could drag it over that. Uh, I figured we'd gone far enough. We were both getting kind of tired so we turned around and went back and that probably was more canoeing than I should have done for the first time out. But we got back and let's see I had eggs that I thought were going to hatch this week yesterday. Only problem is when I had checked the eggs and took them out to my daughter's before I went to Kentucky. The eggs really felt cool. According to the thermometer, it was warm enough in the incubator. But when I had candled some of the eggs before taking it over there, it didn't look like any of them were developing. And they definitely are now. It was definitely warm enough when it was at my daughter's. So I'm thinking that maybe, just maybe, the eggs didn't start developing until I plug the incubator in at my daughter's. With that being said, I do have a chick in my house right now, but it is not from one of my chickens. I got a call from the owner of the farm yesterday. She found a single chick in a stall. No sign whatsoever of a mother hen, and she just didn't have anything set up for it. So. I took it home. It is in my brooder box. I feel bad because it's in there by itself. I told her if she figures out where the mother hen is to let me know and I'll bring it back out. I don't really want a chick that's not mine, uh, but it is what it is. And that's about all I can think of for this week. So I'm going to just sit back and, oh, I know what I did. I worked some on my round pen. The, horse, the horses will scratch up against it and okay Callie and they move the post to get in and when I'm doing that it makes it hard for me to use it because I then can't Callie I can't put my ropes across they don't fit I got two of the posts straightened out today I have one more to do. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to get that done tomorrow. Callie! Uh, okay! And I'm going to start working with the horses again. Uh, I'm hoping by the end of the week, I will be riding both of them, at least in the round pen, weather permitting. And we'll see. So, Callie! Not sure if you can hear me over the noisy little puppy anymore. So, I will talk at you later.